Hi everybody, welcome back to the Drunken Bull Ranch, I'm Reed. So, earlier this week, a friend of mine called me and needed some rocks for a landscaping project. Asked me if I had any, uh, which was kind of a silly question, because around here we always have rocks. Anyway, so, I went out here in the field and uh, was digging up some rocks. And I always try to get the rocks that I can see protruding from the surface of the earth so that uh, I don't hit them with my equipment. So, let me show you what I ended up with. Now, after he took the rocks he wanted, I ended up with those. And I ended up with all of those. I don't know if you can see them all. There's a whole bunch down there. But that right there, that looks like a big pile of dirt, is actually a gigantic boulder that was uh, right at the surface of the dirt. So, not that I want to, but I'm going to see if I can't get that guy out so that I don't hit it with my equipment while I'm tilling the field. So give me just a minute and I'll get positioned and give this a whirl. Okay, so here we go. First thing we gotta do is we gotta dig around this guy. Oh, hey, the camera moved, sorry. trouble with this camera. I do apologize. Hopefully that's better. I don't know if y'all can tell, but this thing does not want to go through these rocks. Big rock. Okay, well, that was kind of a useless little bucket full there. Thank <laughs> you. 
seems to be another one buried next to it right here. This camera keeps getting out of position, I apologize. That's what happens when the equipment's banging around, I guess. See if it wiggles. There we go. So let me explain something. That rock is big enough and heavy enough that this machine won't pick it up. Uh, this is a Cabelco 70, and that rock is, well, pretty dang heavy. So what I got to do is kind of just scoot it out of the hole. So let's see how that goes. I can feel it. That's picking up the back end of my machine. Well, it's out of the hole, kind of. Let's back it up just a little further. I'm going to put that blade down, kind of level myself back out. Whoa, camera's moving again, sorry. You can see the hole that it came out of. Now, traditionally, I would say that that rock was what I refer to as leave right, which basically means that you leave it right there because you don't want to move it. Um, 
but that one was going to do some damage to some equipment because it is literally right in the middle of my field. Hang on. Let me turn this around and I'll show you. So, yeah, it's like right in the middle of the field. Now, if you look way over there, you can see all of those rocks that I pulled out of this field too. And they're all just as big. So, I gotta figure out how to get rid of them. But, uh, yeah, we got the rock out. So, now the trick is to get rid of all of these rocks. And uh, basically move them to the side of the field, fill the hole in, so we don't have any more rocks that we're hitting. So, I'll get busy doing that and I'll feel a little bit more for you. Stay there, camera. Okay, so basically uh, I just pulled the rocks out of the hole so that I can use the tractor with the rock bucket that is sitting right over there. Not that you can see it. Hold on. Sitting right over there. And I'll pick up those rocks and I'll move them all to the side of the field and fill in the hole in the process. Most of them should just be able to be picked up with that rock bucket. So, for the moment, I will uh, pause this and uh, go get in the other rig and we'll get you taken care of so you, you can see it. Okay, everybody, so technically it's the next day. My wife distracted me with another project. She called me while I was doing this video. So, anyway, here we go. We're gonna clean up these rocks. And apparently there's crud on my windshield. <laughs> Absolutely. 
absolutely love this rock market. It does such a good job. Now, as you can see, I've still got the screen cut out of this guy because I'm picking up bigger rocks and I don't want the dirt to get stuck in there and it's still kind of frozen out here. It's actually almost 50 degrees today, which for, uh, <laughs> it's gonna sound bad, but it is uh, New Year's Eve and I'm not feeling that. <laughs> work never ends on the farm, what can I say? Good of a job of filming. My uh, camera holding apparatus is kind of broken. Then I go get rid of the rocks. And I still gotta move those big boulders out of here. This could be kind of fun. Like I said, I'm just moving them to the side of the field. Uh, I call them off as I get a chance. I haven't had much of a chance to do it lately. <coughs> oh, didn't want to shift. boulders here in a few minutes. Okay everybody, so I'm moving these big rocks out of here. As you can see, I just kind of bench them, set them on the blade, and I'm tracking them over to that side of the field, where hopefully one of these days I'll get somebody to cut them all in the way. They are just too big to go in my dump trailer. But it is what it is and at least they're out of the field, so to speak, and I'm not going to hit them with my uh, disc when I'm tilling the field so I can get them planted. Anyhow, so that's pretty much what goes on every time that I come out here and dig a hole is I just find a whole bunch of rocks and get them out of the field. So as always, support your local farmers. Have a wonderful day. I'll get this done and uh, happy new year to all of you. We'll talk to you later. Bye.